Hello, Igor. Hello, Sam. Today we will learn another addition technique. First, tell me, do you remember what all addition techniques we have covered till now? Yes, we have done addition by counting objects, by using a number line, and by using a mind and fingers. Correct. And today we will be learning vertical addition. Vertical means standing position. For example, this is a vertical line. This boy is wearing a t-shirt with vertical stripes. This phone and this ladder are in vertical position. Vertical addition is a technique in which numbers being added are written one under the other. So, they are vertically stacked. Also, numbers are added vertically using place value. And you know what? This technique can even be used for adding very large numbers. Let's understand better with the help of an example. Suppose we have to add 34 and 53. We will start with writing the two numbers one under the other using place value. Both the numbers have two digits. As we have already learnt in earlier classes, the last digit of a number is the ones digit and the one before it is the tens digit. The T and O here stand for tens and ones. In 34, the ones digit is 4 and the tens digit is 3. So, we will accordingly write 34 under T and O. We also have to write 53 under 34. In 53, 3 is the digit in ones place and 5 is the digit in tens place. So, let us write it accordingly under 34. Step 2 is to write the plus symbol before the second number. And that is because plus is the symbol for addition. And here it goes. We can also draw lines under the numbers being added to mark the area where the answer will get written. So step 3 will be to add the ones digits of the two numbers. The two ones digits are 4 and 3. Now you can add 4 and 3 using any technique you have learned. Oh, I will use my mind and fingers. So 4 in mind, 3 fingers out, start counting after 4, uh, 5, 6, 7. The answer is 7. Correct. And we will write 7 under the 1's digits we have just added. Step 4 is to add the tens digits of the two numbers. Three and five are the digits to be added in the tens place. I will use a number line this time. And the answer is eight. Correct. So we will write eight under the tens digits we just added. Now that we have added all the ones and all the tens digits, let's see what the answer is. The answer is 87. Right, now this doesn't look difficult. Let me try, please. Sure, 80 plus 9. Oh, sure. Step 1 is to write the numbers one under the other according to place value. I will first write 80 with 8 under the tens and 0 under the ones. Below that, I will write 9. No, 9 is a single digit number. So, I will write 9 under 1s, not 10s. Is that correct, Miss R? Absolutely right. Next, I will write the plus symbol before the second number. And draw the lines for the answer. Starting with vertical addition and ones place. I have zero and nine. Zero plus nine is nine. Moving on to tens place, I have 
eight and nothing. Nothing means zero. So eight plus nothing would still be eight. So our answer is eighty-nine. Excellent, Sam. Miss R, you said that we can use vertical addition for adding large numbers as well. Can we see addition of bigger numbers? Sure. Let's take 649 plus 240. You already know that three-digit numbers have hundreds, tens, and ones places. This H denotes the hundreds place. So we will start with writing the numbers one under the other according to place value. So when writing 649, 6 is written in hundreds, 4 under tens and 9 under ones. Similarly, 240 will be written with 0 under ones, 4 under tens and 2 under hundreds. Then we write the plus symbol before the second number and draw lines for the answer. Now starting with vertical addition, we will start with the ones place and add the ones digits. So 9 plus 0 still equals 9. Then we move to the previous digit. So in tens place we have 4 and 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. And then we move to hundreds digits. And here we have 6 plus 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. So the final answer is 889. This is so cool, Miss R. I have one more question. If while adding digits to a place, the answer is a two-digit number, then what would you do? Well, Sam, in that case, we do vertical addition with carryover. And that is a topic for another day. I will look forward to learning that, Miss R. Okay, Sam. That is all for today. Please like, share, and 